Uh, good afternoon. I'm Kevin, and uh, somebody was asking me recently uh, what the difference in Christian terms for ministers meant and what, you know, what the differences are. And so I thought I'd do a little quick video uh, to give you an idea, because uh, if one person is asking, then maybe some others are also. So let me share this screen. Okay, so this is a guide to Christian religious titles. Uh, the word minister, as it's used here in the United States, is usually thought of as a generic term for pastor. But it is a translation from the Greek word for servant. And sometimes uh, in some congregations, the word uh, deacon is used, which is for a servant. Uh, so technically speaking, the way it's used in the United States, a minister is just a generic term for somebody uh, that is doing ministry. So we could say in the sentence, there are a lot of ministers in Canandaigua, and it would, we wouldn't really uh, differentiate which kind of ministers they are by using that. Uh, clergy or clergy person. Uh, clergy persons are educated and recognized religious leaders of any type. Uh, the word clergy comes from the French word for clerical, which means an educated person who can read and write and uh, who seems to know what's going on with the language. So we would use uh, this word uh, in a sentence like this. The local clergy meet monthly to pray for our area, which we do here in Canandaigua. Uh, the term ordained, it, it comes from the Bible. Ordained clergy are persons who are ministers who have met the qualifications for leadership within a particular group and have had a ceremony to recognize that accomplishment. So each religious group, whether it's Catholic or Episcopalian or Methodist or uh, non-denominational Baptist, whatever it happens to be, whatever the qualifications for education that are required, and uh, usually in many denominations, education is not enough. You also have to show some sort of aptitude uh, towards doing church work. And so after a period of time, uh, there will be a council call. Uh, the way that's done is different with different uh, denominations and a service will be performed and they will ordain that person. And that usually gives them some spiritual rights that, uh, that other people don't have, such as serving communion, uh, performing uh, weddings and funerals and perhaps some other things as well so we could say murphy is an ordained roman catholic that means he's a he's a member of the roman catholic church uh, he's been through his seminary experience and he's been found uh, to be uh, qualified and so they have the service and they lay hands on him and ordain him oops pastor a pastor is a word that means shepherd, and it denotes a leader of a local Christian congregation of almost any type. They might be a senior or an associate or an assistant pastor. Now, I am the pastor of the Cheshire Community Church, and technically, I'm not the pastor of anybody who's not a member or who attends that church. But sometimes people call me pastor even though they don't come to church. But the idea is a, a shepherd of a local congregation. And so we could say, Pastor Bill became the senior pastor of First Baptist Church after serving as an associate there for many years. Reverend, uh, this word is uh, kind of uh, not appreciated in some circles because the idea is only God is to be revered, but it's a word that uh, may be used as a sign of respect for a clergy person who is respectable. Now, all, all clergy persons uh, are not respectable, in my opinion. But if somebody is, uh, they do the right thing, and people have seen that over the over a period of time, they might call the minister reverend. It's a title of appreciation. So somebody might say, I like Reverend Tom Miller. What you see is what you get with him. Uh, academic titles. 
uh, Master of Divinity and Doctor of Ministry are two uh, graduate titles that a pastor or a, a minister of some sort might have. Uh, these The clergy may or may not have these titles, and they are uh, abbreviated MDiv, there should be a period after div there, and DMIN. So if you were going to introduce somebody that had uh, this type of academic title, you'd say, this is Reverend Dr. Joseph Mur Murphy, pastor of First United Methodist. Or you could say it this way, this is Joseph Murphy, DMIN, pastor of First United Methodist. Now, Father. Uh, Father is mainly used in um, Roman Catholic, Greek Orthodox, and the, the uh, or other Orthodox, like Russian Orthodox, Ukrainian Orthodox, or the British Episcopal churches. Uh, it's not it's not used very much in um, in Protestant circles, but you could say Father Murphy is a great pastor. Whenever anybody calls me Father, I know that they're a Roman Catholic. Uh, brother or sister is sometimes used uh, for ordained clergy. Brother is officially used as a title for an ordained Christian monk who is serving in a monastery, but it's also used informally to denote a feeling of family. So we could say this, uh, we use the term brother in the church just as the members of the fire department do. Or we could say, Brother Murphy is a good pastor. Elder. Uh, this is less common. Uh, elder is a title given to ordained ministers in some Methodist and Baptist denomination. So instead of saying pastor so-and-so, they just say elder so-and-so. It's also used um, as in some, some churches, people who are not ordained ministers, but they are spiritual leaders and they are, are wise, maybe a little bit older people. Uh, sometimes they're called elder as well. Chaplain. A chaplain can be a member of any religious uh, organization who serves as a trained spiritual presence in the midst of a secular organization to help people through difficult events. Uh, the key words there are trained. Uh, usually, if you want to be in the military chaplaincy or hospital chaplaincy, you need about two years of additional training beyond the um, beyond the regular Master of Divinity. And uh, this type of training is called CPE, or Clinical Pastoral Training. Uh, many denominations require at least one unit, uh, but a hospital or the Veterans Administration or the military, they would require four units uh, for this. There are chaplains in fire departments, colleges, medical hospitals, hospice homes, psych wards, police departments, state and federal legislatures, and all branches of the military. Uh, when I was in uh, seminary, I did take a, uh, a unit of clinical pastoral education, and I also uh, have been certified as a uh, police chaplain through the uh, International Order, International Conference of Police Chaplains. So we might say, the Reverend Dr. William Murphy once planned to be the pastor of a local church, but after he was ordained as a Presbyterian, he found military chaplaincy to be more rewarding. And now they call him Padre. And so it doesn't matter what kind of uh, Christian you are, you don't have to just be Catholic or Orthodox. Uh, the, the title is Padre. And it's kind, of a, it's kind of a friendly title for a military chaplain. Well, there you have it. There might be some other uh, titles that I haven't covered, but those are the most uh, most common ones. And if you have any questions, uh, just holler at me, and I'd be glad to speak with you further about uh, any this or any other issue. So God bless. Have a great day, and thank you for listening.